our fan base assholes. Yeah. Or I mean they Wait, love us. There so are assholes. There are assholes. That's yeah. right. I think they're uh pent up and I think they're needing to release. That's the one thing at our shows is there's moshing, there's crowd surfing, but nobody's getting hurt, I hope. Nobody's like hurting each other. Somebody falls, everybody picks them back up. Somebody ties their shoe, kids are like Yeah. Making it's not away. violent or like not aggressive. violent whatsoever. It's like energetic but and like physical and rowdy. Yeah. You know, they push each other in stage dive, but it's not like Fuck you, blah blah blah. You know, like, seems to be like a cool kind of like community in our fans too like I've seen online and stuff of like kids will be like hey who's going to the Fiddler show and they'll like tweet at each other and they'll all meet each other for the first time like at a show and become friends mm -hmm. and it's like kind of like family vibe of like these fans that meet each other and they end up like oh you go to my high school you got a Fiddler shirt like mm -hmm. me too which is something I feel like got, has <clears throat> kind of not happened very recently because everyone's like in their own world. So it's like I remember being in high school and stuff and like that's how you like meet your friends. You're like, oh, he's got a Modest Mouse shirt. Like I got a Modest Mouse shirt. We should hang out.
the best that I can video games too like we got that one placement in uh, Grand Theft Auto and so yeah. many kids are just like oh yeah that song it's one kid in like in the treatment center I went to was like oh yeah that song I know that song <laughs> like yeah this is, a, this is kind of a thing every got, every time like a song gets placed in something like that you'll see like a flood of comments or like a spike in plays of that song or something or comments on the YouTube video of like Brought here from yeah. Shameless or whatever the show was or Grand Theft Auto or some wrestling game we yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know like WWE Raw like J C Penny heard just heard this song on J C Penny commercial <laughs> like that was the sickest one I mean that that stuff's like that I mean if more people find out about it like I don't know that's cool. This song's about rehab and how much it sucks, because rehab sucks. I feel, feel like a coke and I feel, feel like I can't get drunk no more. Cause I'm on the floor, just looking for some magic to pick up the score. I feel, feel like shooting up, I feel, feel like giving up on my skateboard. Cause I'm fucking bored, I want a perfect life, so it's a shirt. There's been a few times it's yeah. just something that's like really not we're not cool with but not on like a really like creative level like maybe like this company's kind of like fucked up or something so it's but usually it's like yeah sure whatever like yeah. if you want to pay us to like put our, yeah, our song and like that's gonna reach more people like and our music tends to lean towards a certain style anyway like 
it's never too like jc penny was probably the weirdest one of like it was a back to school commercial and they were playing cheap beer which was like kind of weird when you think about it and all these kids on twitter and so oh it's sell out and, blah, 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 and all this stuff and it's like don't front dude like they're guaranteed at one point of your life your mom went to jc penny to buy you jeans so they're dude, I still i still go to I JC still, I, I shop at jc penny i get gift cards like every year for christmas for jc penny just get you know, they got good stuff. They good, got like good sales. They have like camping stuff too. Oh, like yeah, you can get all yeah. kinds of weird stuff. Though. being in a band and making a career out of it and making yeah it's like paying rent i mean it's hard (laughs) gotta get what we can (laughs) it's even less so now like bands aren't getting placements in commercials now like a couple years ago it was easier but nowadays it's like possible that's why we tour so much because that's all we have a living
I think you've definitely taken like wisdom from older people that were around but it's also like they don't really know what's going on yeah. because it's changing so much so like nobody knows what nobody like, even us as long as we've been a band it's changed like four times like yeah. we still don't even know what's going it's like what's working now okay we have to do that because that but even with it changing it's like live shows will i feel like always stay the same like people always want to experience live music and be a part of that moment and so it's like you can count on that i guess for now unless like holograms start taking over so like yeah, vr I, shit or something I'm saying dude i've been saying <laughs> this the one day that that happens is when a kid can go to a concert in his living room right vr implant chip i mean it could i feel like yeah maybe I don't know. We'll see. Black Mirror style, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean that's real.
All right, Boston, you ready? You ready, Boston? One, two, three. <laughs> Got to turn my head. It's all right. One, two, three. I'm gonna lock myself inside my room with this 40 ounce on. I think the older, especially with like punk music and stuff like that, like he was saying, like they just, it was a different time. They could sell records and make money, you know? Like we don't have that. Like that's just not, and even streaming, like there's only a certain percentage amount of bands, unless you're U2, you're making money off of streaming, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So we take what we can, we check the bullshit out at the door, you know? And we try to do it our own way.
welcome into this fantastic show called the Too Much Tour. Let's give it up for Frights. Yeah. Now let's hear it for the Swimmer Boys. Yeah. Let's hear it for Fiddler. Talks about where we're from. One time this kid jumped on stage and tried to take a selfie while I was singing. Yeah. Oh my god, I lost my shit, dude. I lost my shit it's on really him. He grabbed annoying. his phone, threw it, and he came back. He grabbed his phone and then he came back and said, So you didn't break my phone, man. You're yeah. lucky you didn't break my phone. And tried to do another selfie. It's just annoying. Asshole. But our assholes. That kid might have just been an ass. That, that kid was the <laughs> definition of fuckwit. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, dude. Just shut the fuck up, everybody, for one goddamn second. Oh, that 
doesn't that doesn't work at our shows. I forgot. Well, it's three o'clock in the morning. Double vision with my homies. Four o'clock, four o'clock, feeling funny. Got no. sober because that changes every show yeah there's no true. like set that that's just like every time we play there's something else like max does something different every time you do something different um elvis does something different and i keep forgetting i keep putting the third verse as a second verse so by <laughs> the time the third verse comes i have to like freestyle and make something up hopefully i'll remember it this time to not do that but that one, I noticed that song. That song on West Coast. Yeah, it goes, gets them going. Oh, gets kids fucking rowdy. Oh my god, are you really gonna do this right now? Look, I'm trying to get better, but I can't do that when I'm goddamn things about you. So why do I have to do that while you still are like this? Look, I'm a fucking princess too, so treat me like one. Don't tell me. situation awkward. I'm just trying to ask you how you are and all you can say is, oh, I can't be bothered. What is this? High school? You say that I'm immature and suck at my life? Exactly. It's my life. And you know what? Don't tell me what to do!
dad habits. Dad habits. There was a there was a version I was thinking for for a while calling it dad habits, but uh, that was a that was another that was another one after treatment. But I had that like melody yeah, that, for a while. Yeah, that I, thing da, for a while. Da, 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 da. Um, but fully, fully, fully formed, realized. Yeah.
Y generation. Y generation. Uh, kind of like, I kind of think of like our fans or something when we play that song. Mm. Just like kids trying to figure it out and not knowing what's going on. It's also a jammy one to play live. Like, yeah, the end, the end is sick. It's got a nice slow stoner rock ending, which I'm very partial to. Mm-hmm. I had a lot of fun at that part. That was one where you remember <laughs> originally we sped up at the end. Yeah. And then in the studio, the producer was like, "Why don't you slow down?" And we're like, "Huh? What? <laughs> we slow never slow down." <laughs> down?
our new record has synths, and to me, the electronic dance music, so like the EDM scene, you know, there's a certain percentage of them that are complete tools, but then usually the percentage that aren't tools were in bands at some point in their lives. Yeah. You know what I mean? So they understand like, yeah, I know, this is ridiculous, I'm making a shit ton of money. It's cool though, but it's, this is ridiculous, <laughs> yeah. right? Like.